Guys, you better hurry up, pick up this weapon, because it won't be here for so long, and some of these mods are amazing. Let's talk about what you need to pick up in The Division 2. SFA, this is LazerBone, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the vendor reset, and I love the brand new vendor reset. I like the fact that it got changed to Tuesday as opposed to being Friday. And I also love the fact that now we get more things to actually recommend to you guys than we did prior before. Now, before I talk about all the good stuff that's available to pick up today or this week, I should say, I do want to remind you guys about our giveaway. We're giving away four free copies of Call of Duty Modern Warfare for the system of your choice to enter and participate. It's super easy. All you have to do is click the link down below where it says join Bolt Nation and you guys will be automatically entered. We will be giving a copy every week. So make sure you guys enter now. All right. So what should you guys pick up this week? And like I said, I love the whole thing that they've done now with the vendors. It's actually really, really cool that now not only do we get weapons and gear to look at, but we also get to look at mods. And we are going to get started, of course, with the first mod recommendation of all the times I've been doing the videos, and that is going to be over at the White House vendor. You're going to go to the offensive mod called Firearms, and this is going to come with a plus 5 LMG damage. This is really important because if you're trying to make a LMG build or if you're trying to put together a nice LMG rifle build, this is really good. Not only do you get the plus 5 LMG damage, but you also get the plus 1 weapon damage. So in total, it's almost like 6 LMG damage. And you get the additional 3% rifle damage. So if you're working on a rifle damage and you combine it with an LMG, this is definitely a mod you should be picking up. As far as the other stuff he has for sale, it's a hard skip. Now we're going to be heading over to the clan vendor. Now the clan vendor has some really good assets and we're going to talk about those as well. We're also going to be talking about a weapon that you guys cannot sleep on. And I highly recommend you guys get ready because we're going to tell you guys how to get it. So for the clan vendors, we're going to take a look at the first thing that pops up, which is the forge, which is a holster. Now, the reason why we like this holster is because it comes with a plus 14 critical hit damage. This is actually really, really good for the holster. It's practically a semi-god roll if you're trying to get a critical hit damage build. Highly recommend you pick this one up. As far as the talent's concerned, I'm not too happy with it, but I do like the critical hit damage that the holster has. So if you're working on a crit build, this is definitely one to consider. Next up, another recommendation I want to recommend is this knee pads called the Shredden Kneelers. This is going to be True Patriot. And this comes with a 7.5 critical hit chance. Really, really good one in case you want to work on a crit build as well uh, that, that has a really nice role and attribute to it. So if you're trying to get one, uh, this one's pretty good, at least in the crit hit chance. It's not like a semi-god roll or a god roll, but it's very, very close. The semi-god roll is at 8, so you're not that far off. You're only off by 5 points, so it's really, really good one to consider as well. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at a defensive mod called the Defensive Protocol Stamina. And this was actually pretty good because of that 14% skill health. Really good for a skill build. I highly recommend this mod. And, uh, you know, if you guys are trying to get a skill build put together, there's definitely a mod that's going to help you out in that department. Next up on the clan vendor as well, we're taking a look at another offensive mod. And this is called the Offensive Protocol Critical. And this one comes with the main stat that actually jumps out here, is, which is the plus four critical hit chance. Really, really good. It comes with nice attributes. Not only does it give you a 1.5 weapon damage as well, plus it's also giving you a one headshot damage. But the main focal point of this one right here is the plus four critical hit chance. Now let's talk about the thing that has me really, really excited, guys. And that is a weapon that you're going to be able to pick up from the secret vendor in the division. Now, if you're new to the division, there is a secret vendor called Casey. Now, Casey is not locatable within the map. In order for you guys to be able to locate her location, you have to find the snitch. I'm going to put up on the board a picture of all the possible snitch locations because he does spawn on multiple places for each individual person. Basically, the same place it spawns for me, it might not be the same place for you. So just reference this image and look for the snitch. Now, the best way to look for him, guys, is look at this image. Look if when you pull up your map, if there's any question marks within those images. If there are, head over to those images. If you don't get like a prompt like says, you know, control point or, or territory or anything like that. If you just get a person, then that is the snitch. He usually has like a Hawaiian looking shirt. So that's what you guys want to go off of. Once you locate him, he's going to give you a bounty. You do not need to complete the bounty. You just pull up your map again 
And then within your map, there's going to be a little icon that looks like a cart. Just, you know, bark that icon, head over to that icon, and you're going to find Casey. Now, Casey has a really, really, did I say really? Well, I'm going to say really again. A really, really good weapon called the Shield Splinter. Now, the Shield Splinter is a F2000, one of my favorite guns, even before the title update number six. Now, this weapon is even much better now as opposed to the way it was when the Division first launched. Because this weapon right here, guys, I'm telling you, it is going to be a monster and one that I highly recommend. If you guys love ARs like as much as I do, this is definitely one that you want to pick up. And you're probably asking yourself, Laser, why are you recommending this weapon so much? What is so special about the weapon? Well, let me tell you guys. First and foremost, it comes with the perfect Optimus and the damage roll is very nice, giving you a 98% of maximum damage. This is definitely a must buy. If you're trying to figure out if you should spend money on anything this week, this is what you guys should be spending on and on that one class mod that you're able to pick up at the White House. The reason why this weapon is so good is because it has a really good sustained damage for ARs. It's by far one of the best sustained damage weapons at the current moment right now because the reload speed is so fast. It comes with a 1.8 second reload speed that is the quickest out of all the normal ARs and the perfect Optimus adds close to 25% average damage across the magazine which makes this a very potent weapon highly recommend you guys pick this one up like i said if you're picking anything up this week this is what you guys should pick up now those are the items i want to recommend if for some reason i missed anything make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below maybe you guys saw something that i have my missed so it's always good to let the community know also want to remind you guys we have an amazing division 2 community over on our discord channel Make sure you guys head on over there. It is a fun place where you can find like-minded individuals who play on Xbox, PlayStation 4, and PC, just like myself that love The Division. And it's always good in case you're looking for groups to do a raid with or just have fun overall in general. I do want to recommend you guys definitely check us out on stream. We have an amazing surprise coming very soon. So please check us out on stream. We stream on Mixer, Twitch, and Facebook. The links are down below. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you guys on the next video.